first step for making our Georgia O'Keeffe style flowers is to put a dot somewhere towards the middle of your paper. You can use a Sharpie or a pencil to make this dot. So everyone go ahead and make a dot somewhere towards the middle of your paper. Okay, after you have that dot, the next step is to start from the dot and work your way to the outside edge of the paper. This is the way that we're uh, making our flower petals. It's also the way we're gonna make our brush strokes. Start at the dot and work to the outside. You can make your lines straight or very curvy and that's up to you. You can do just two or three lines or you can do four, five, six, ten. It's totally up to you. So this is the first step. Okay, our next step is to paint our flowers. So the first thing you have to do is pick a color scheme. I'm gonna use the cool colors, blue, green, and purple, because they're some of my favorite colors. I like working with the cool colors. So I'm gonna start with blue. I'm using liquid watercolors, so I can paint straight from the cup with these. Remember, our dot is the place that we start our brush strokes. So we're always starting at the middle dot and working towards the outside. I like to make my lines curved, just like the lines that I drew in Sharpie. Okay, after I have the blue, I can go to purple or green. Either one would work. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some purple next. I can mix the purple and the blue together. When purple and blue mix, it can make a really pretty color called indigo. Can you say indigo? So I'll use purple and blue at the same time, kind of back and forth, so I can make some indigo sections. And I'm also gonna leave some spots without purple so I can use some green and blue together because I love the color that green and blue makes also. So I'll just go add a little bit of purple all the way around. Okay, and I left a few spots for green. So I'm gonna come back and fill in those spots first. I always am remembering to paint from the middle to the outside. Okay, so after you have your flower all the way covered, this looks good, you could be finished because there are no white spaces. But sometimes kids like to come back in and add some little stripes. You can use these kind, this kind of paint to add those stripes. These watercolors are not liquid though. They're Right now, you can touch them and, well, my hands are painted already, but you can touch them and not get paint on your hands. To make these paints work, you have to add water. So I'm gonna get my water over here and I'm gonna choose a small brush and one of the colors that I've already used. I think I'll make my purple. To make the paint, you have to swirl the brush around until you have a little puddle of water. And that water is actually the paint that you're gonna paint with. These are watercolors. So now I'm just gonna add a couple detail strokes, starting from the middle, going towards the outside. And then I'm finished. So I hope you guys have a great time painting today. The most important things to remember are starting in the middle and painting towards the outside, trying to fill all of our paper in so there's no white spaces, and most importantly is sticking to a color scheme. You can't use all the colors together. It's what happens when you mix all the colors together.